Hi guys, my name is Arya and today I'm going to be listing down the top 5 cryptocurrencies that have taken the world by storm. Now without wasting much time, let's get started. Now I guess the topic deserves a small introduction to this whole cryptocurrency jazz and what it's all about. Well, digital payments have replaced the whole idea of carrying cash with you. Whether you want food, groceries, a cab or even general services, you can pay for everything digitally, but it's not really like cash payments. Cash is untraceable, cash can be spent anonymously, and more so, cash is trusted. Escaping these problems was the promise made by Bitcoin, the first ever cryptocurrency. It had the beautiful anonymity of cash, and it was cash that was not printed by the government. Instead, it was made by a bit of code that was powered by the citizens of the internet, and you could trust it. Today, anyone can buy crypto. A few signups, smash in your credit card details, and trade in your money for digital cash. Bitcoin got so popular that by the end of 2017, it was as valuable as the big banks that it stood against. Today, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies out there other than Bitcoin, and we are going to list down the top five that are in my opinion. Now, at first, of course, we have Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency that started the whole decentralization movement. Without Bitcoin, we would not be where we are in terms of crypto today. What made Bitcoin stand out was how it brought about a new perspective of trust. According to Bitcoin, no user is a trusted user, and everything must be verified by public consensus, which is achieved by a mathematical process called proof of work. We won't get into the working of proof of work, but let's just say it's a very resource heavy and equally trustworthy and hard to break system. It was truly the first piece of tech that promised security over the internet. As of this day, the market's capitalization of the world's top digital currency, Bitcoin, is more than 125 billion, with a price per coin of more than $6,700. Next on our list is Ethereum. Ethereum is an open source and public blockchain based distributing computing platform for building decentralized applications. Now, before the creation of Ethereum, blockchain applications were designed to do a very limited set of operations. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, for example, were developed exclusively to operate as peer to peer digital currencies. Now, Vitalik Buterin, the mastermind behind Ethereum, envisioned his project as a platform for developers to write programs on the blockchain. Now, this was brought about with the implementation of smart contracts which is basically a program that runs on the blockchain and can be invoked by other users of the network. So basically, this allows app developers to freely work on the blockchain without knowing its intricacies by using frameworks like Truffle.js. Above that, Ethereum is also moving to a more resource-friendly consensus algorithm called Proof of Stake, and the crypto coin of Ethereum, which is called Ether, has about 100 million of them right now in the market, which just shows how much popular it is. Up next, we have Ripple. Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system, currency exchange, and remittance network created by Ripple Labs, Incorporated, a US-based technology company. Now, Ripple is built upon a distributed open source internet protocol and supports tokens representing fiat currency, cryptocurrency, commodities, or other units of value such as frequent flyer miles or mobile minutes. It eases out the process of cross-border payments with its negligible transaction fees and super fast transaction times. Above that, what makes it special is the consensus algorithm used, which is called the Byzantine fault tolerance, which is based on the Byzantine general problem. It's a method of eliminating faulty participators of the network by bringing about a consensus through majority poll. It's pretty interesting concept and you should definitely check it out. Also, Ripple has some insane flexibility in terms of currency. You can pay in all sorts of cash currency and cryptocurrency, including Ether and Bitcoin, and there's only a negligible internal commission for this. Okay, so that was all about Ripple. Next up is Bitcoin Cash. Now, Bitcoin's popularity skyrocketing caused its own set of problems in terms of scalability. The number of transactions increased by leaps and bounds, and the rate at which the blocks filled up were increasing as well. More often than not, people actually had to wait till new blocks were created so that their transactions would go through. This created a backlog of transactions, and in fact, the only way to get your transactions prioritized is to pay a high enough transaction fee to attract and incentivize the miners to prioritize your transactions. To solve this problem, Bitcoin went through a hard fork and Bitcoin Cash was born. This was done with the implementation of SegWit, which stands for Segregated Witness. Now, the implementation of SegWit brought about a few changes. It increases the number of transactions that a block can take. It decreases the transaction fees. It reduces the size of each individual transaction. Transactions can now be confirmed faster because the waiting time will decrease and this in overall helps in the scalability of Bitcoin as a whole and as a protocol. Now, since the number of transactions in each block will increase, it may increase the total overall fees that a miner may also collect, which also helps with minor incentives. Lastly, 
Now for our top five cryptocurrencies, we have EOS. So EOS is a blockchain platform for development of decentralized applications or dApps that are similar to Ethereum in function. It makes dApp development a breeze by providing an operating system like set of functions and libraries for developers. EOS brings together the best features and promises of the various smart contract technologies out there. For example, the security of Bitcoin, the computing support of Ethereum into one simple to use massively scalable DAP platform for everyday users. It provides a complete operating system for decentralized application focused on the web with services like user authentication, cloud storage and server hosting. Now the EOS platform is equipped with full featured authentication system that includes user account permission levels, locally secured user data, recovery for stolen accounts and much more. Above that, EOS provides server hosting, cloud storage and download bandwidth to developers as they build and deploy applications and web interfaces. Now when an application is built on an app platform, micropayments are not required to send messages and perform tasks on the EOS blockchain by end users. App developers determine how the typically low transaction fees will be paid. Now the community can also fix bugs and upgrade and downgrade in the system democratically and securely with its governance rules. This works by having block procedures to vote to confirm certain transactions whether applications are running properly and on modifications to the source code and the system as well. Above that, it's an insanely scalable platform from what we've been promised. So there's a lot to look out for in EOS and that's why it makes it into my top five cryptocurrencies. Well guys, that was my countdown of the top five cryptocurrencies. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on the video and until next time, goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!